my goodness the shots that max holloway was eating in this fight my boy had me nervous let's talk about it what's up guys welcome back to the ufc arena ufc fight night holloway versus rodriguez is finished and let's jump straight into the main event that was a great fight it seems like every single week we are spoiled with great fights every week we're like oh that was possibly fight of the year oh that was possibly fight of the year and this week once again that main event was great very close fight and i actually was not sure who won at the end if i'm being honest now this is the most damage anyone has landed on holloway since his dustin poirier fight I mean, the commentators, they were so sure during the fight, they were like, well, you know, 100% Max Holloway is winning. And I mean, Rodriguez Corner also told him that he had to finish the fight, which I thought was really good cornering. But at that point, I honestly wasn't so sure. And I think it was a very competitive fight, at least more competitive than the commentators were making it seem. So 100% not going to lie, Yari Rodriguez impressed me in this fight. Coming off a two-year layoff, as good as he has ever looked before he did not look rusty at all partner was on point and everything that he was throwing had fight ending intentions he was blasting max with everything that he threw those leg kicks and then he would switch the head kicks and he almost caught max a few times and like i said those had me nervous because you know max is my boy and let's face it yari rodriguez is one of the best kickers in the ufc so he's not somebody that you want to just stand at distance with and just take those kicks but max was taking in it man but as we saw blasting kicks like that can come with a price yari rodriguez foot was all sorts of messed up at the end of that fight it is common knowledge at this point that max holloway is a momentum fighter and rodriguez was doing a good job of stopping holloway's momentum by one punching with him and two his evasive movement so we saw when max fought dustin and when max fought volkanovsky he was not able to build the momentum that he would build against someone like a ortega or someone like a calvin Cato. you saw in those fights when max got going the avalanche was just too much volkanovsky and poria were able to break that momentum and rodriguez was successful in many ways as well so he would punch with holloway and he had great evasive movement so holloway would not just be able to land a six punch combination on rodriguez because he would move back and he would be just out of range rounds one and two were close i could see some people giving round two to rodriguez some people giving two to holloway rounds three and four i think they were clear for max and max just has next level toughness man like those calf kicks that max was taking has stopped many other fighters or incapacitated many other fighters max holloway was still able to walk and still able to fight and throw combinations the entire fight and what max was doing instead of checking the leg kicks he would try to counter yari every time he landed one of those kicks and he was having some success doing so also max was constantly moving forward and he needed to do that in order to win this fight and what i would say was the main key to max's victory in this fight is he mixed in the takedowns and grappling i thought he would be the superior grappler coming into this fight and that held to be true and you could see the difference between max and yari when the max was on the bottom max would not waste any time in getting back to his feet on two occasions max was on the bottom and he just stood back up and he never accepted that position he would work and stand back up yari rodriguez on the other hand max was able to hold him down and the last reason why max won this fight is a reason why he wins a lot of his fights five wrong cardio max did not get tired he was able to go the entire time and I also believe this is one of the reasons why Max Holloway has such a great chin. You would often hear the commentators saying that this guy is in great shape. That's why he's able to take these shots. I'm sure there may be one or two exceptions, but very often fighters with great cardio have excellent chins. Max Holloway comes to mind. Kamaru Usman comes to mind. Colby Covington comes to mind. These guys have either never been knocked out or very rarely been knocked out tony ferguson is another one that comes to mind nate diaz all these guys have great cardio and great chins so overall this fight shows why a lot of people still view max as the champion even without the belt it's kind of like this division has two champions in it and i don't mean any disrespect to volkanovsky volkanovsky is a great champion and i personally 
think Volkanovski won both fights. Even though Max is my favorite fighter, I think Volkanovski won both fights. They were super close and competitive, but I think he won. So what is next for Max Holloway? Alexander Volkanovski makes sense even though we saw the fight twice before. And to me, I'm thinking, so what if Max beats Volkanovski? Are we then going to have a fourth fight between Volkanovski and Max? Because it seemed like it would only be fair, right? So I'm definitely down for Max Holloway to do other things. Max Holloway is not tied up on a title shot. He's not chasing a title shot. He just wants big fights. He wouldn't mind fighting Connor. He wouldn't mind going up to 155. He has a win over Oliveira. So honestly, I don't care what Max does next. I just like to see Max fight. <laughs> Max could be fighting Daniel Cormier for the Dadis Man on the Planet Championship. I will still watch. And what is next for Yair? He needs to rest up. That was a grueling fight. His foot is definitely broken or fractured or something. I mean, I'm not a doctor, but just look at this picture. Yeah, that's nasty. So I think he should rest up and then he should meet Brian Ortega. Or if Zabit actually comes back, Zabit versus Yair was supposed to happen a million times. Maybe it could happen this time. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. If you enjoy my content, please remember to like, please remember to subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. We're on the road to 300 subscribers, guys. We're almost there. So please help your boy out. And I will see you all in the next one.